Look, Rollo throwing shots at Lil Boosie. Look, it just came out. I'm going to just say it, bro. CMG allegedly was responsible for the Young Dolph shooting. Yeah, yeah, they hired the killer, bro. He said he got paid $800 plus attorney fees. What does Boosie do? Publicly, he goes out and takes a video, makes a video with Yo Gotti, just praising him, praising him, praising him, praising him. Shaking, I love you, Yo Gotti, I love you, Yo Gotti. Well, Rallo say that's wrong, bro. You choosing sides. He responsible for another rapper's death, man. What, what are you doing, bro? Now, Rallo may be a snitch, but even though he's snitching, bro, he still got a point with some of this shit, you know what I mean? Like, that does look like you picking sides, bro. Man, stay away from that, dude. Why would you want to even be mixed up in that anyway? Like they said, the feds are coming, bro. What is Boosie doing? I don't know, but it's a Dolph world right now, man. Look, Amari Horwick throwing shots at 50 Cent. Despite playing in power for six seasons and this being his biggest role, he say he wasn't pay paid enough. Yeah, yeah, he said he wasn't paid enough. Everybody was wondering, oh, is Ghost dead? What, what's going on with this? Why did they kill him abruptly? You know what I mean? Well, he didn't like the money he was making. Apparently, he can't even walk down the street without everybody bombarding him with questions and all this other shit, but his bank account don't show it. Well, look, bro, everybody know you got to grind till it come. You know what I mean? Amari Hardwick, that... Quitting power was probably the worst thing this man could do. You are an okay actor, bro, but that role, like, boosted your head up way too high because I'm telling you right now, you will never get another role as dope as that one, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. If you ever seen a Amari Hardwick movie, you know it ain't worth the squeeze. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the juice ain't worth the squeeze, man. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Drop it in the comments what you think about Amari Hardwick. I think he should have stayed on power, but guess what? Tariq did a hell of a good job. Now it's going to be the Tejada's turn, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be the Tejada's turn right now if Mary J makes it through this whole Diddy situation unscathed. She, oh, she might not be in a spinoff anyway. They didn't already killed her off, if I'm being honest. But yeah, 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 bro. Uh, Amari Horwicks. A sucker. Look, Jaquez regrets the Trey Songs fight. Yeah, yeah, he regrets fighting with Trey Songs overseas. You know, they got in a fight in the nightclub. I believe it was in Paris, which Trey Songs grabbed them by the head and pulled them, some of them motherfuckers out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He regrets it. Why? Because he said they brothers, they brothers, they brothers. Well, were y'all brothers when you had to scoop your dreads up off the ground? Yeah, he said he saw them scattered everywhere and he just started collecting them. When his hair grow back, he's going to sew him back in. Yeah, that's what they do. When they get their hair pulled out, they sew him back in and all this other weird shit. Yeah, y'all ain't that much of brothers. And Trey's a fucking predator. Let's just be honest. I don't know what's going on with Trey Songs, but uh, somebody helped that man because he ain't even about the music no more. It's always some sex scandal and fighting and a whole bunch of bullshit. What happened to the dollar in the dream, Trick or Trey? Hey, come on, man. Get back to the bubbles like Webby would say. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real as usual. Look, Kanye West being sued by a security guard, a former security guard for unpaid wages. Allegedly, he worked for Kanye from August to October, was getting paid from $30 to $50 an hour. He don't know. He not for sure. Well, he worked for three months. They never paid him a dime. Yeah, when he asked about it, they told him to kick rocks, allegedly. He came back, asked about his check. They say he'll get it in due time. Hey, bro, look, bro. If you're working longer than a week in a hole, you know, I don't even think they do the week in a hole no more. But if you're working longer than a week and you ain't been paid, something is up, bro. Yeah, yeah, something is up. So this dude is a fucking idiot. Who goes to work for three months without collecting a dime for $30 an hour. It ain't like the man was making you rich anyway. $30 an hour, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. He got you for cheap. I don't think it was that much of a, to pay that little, what, let's say seven, $800 a week, bro? Let's just be honest, bro. $30 an hour, you wasn't getting no OT. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they stingy with the OT. You was just probably getting probably about five hours a day, $150 a day, you know what I mean? $300, $600. At the most, you was getting $700 a week, bro. That ain't no money. Y'all go out there and get y'all a job, man. Jobs are paying now on people. Yeah, go get y'all a job, bro. Uh, you gonna go body go off of somebody for $700 a week, bro, and not get paid for three months? Yeah, yeah, use a sucker, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use a sucker and you your people didn't teach you right that's obvious yeah so leave you alone this this lawsuit has no validity yeah yeah it, it has it, it holds no validity bro it's totally fake yeah throw that shit away throw that shit away bro you get nothing we're gonna hit you with that willy wonka you get nothing bro <laughs> yeah just be honest i'm just being honest i'm just being real as usual man drop it in the comments Look, Dame Dash throwing shots at Jay-Z. He say Jigga watching his pockets with the sale of this whole, his portion of the reasonable doubt. But why you ain't addressing these Diddy allegations, thug? Yeah, 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 yeah. He say, bro, they supposed to be picking up Jigga next year. But, oh, man, he don't want to see nobody go to jail. Look, it's looking bad for Jigga, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's looking, it's not looking good for Jigga. Uh, they starting all kind of rumors. Beyonce leaving him. He leaving the country. Uh, I don't know nothing about that. I just know, man, Jigga need to get in front of this, bro. I think he owe the people at least some type of explanation on why you call this man daddy and you've been at the parties all the years and this has been your best friend. Let's just be honest, bro. Let's just be real. Jigga, what's going on with this, man? Get in front of this, man. Because I once had so much respect for you, but... After all this shit, bro, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for Jigga. I don't even want to hear no more Jigga music, bro. Anything bad boy or bad boy related, I don't want to hear. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. It's like some witchcraft, sorcery type of shit that you don't even need to let inside of you. So g Dub just got out, fuck him too. You know what I mean? Young Jock, fuck him. You know what I mean? Uh, whoever, whoever mess with bad boy, bad boy south, whatever, bro. I'm not rocking with none of yous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not rocking with none of yous, bro. Drop it in the comments, man. All of them suckers. Everybody tied to the dealer are suckers. Usher deleted all social media accounts after Diddy was arrested. Scrubbed his accounts clean. Yeah, looked at Twitter. Wasn't nothing on there for Usher. When the fans caught it and you know, accused him of scrubbing. He said, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. You know, he tried to talk about fly. Yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. My page was hacked. I see y'all on the tour, baby. You, look, Usher, bro, stop it with the bullshit, man. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, man. Usher was taken advantage of. But the victim turned into the victimizer real quick with Usher, with what he did with Bieber. So all this old shit and trying to have... Bro, we don't feel sorry for you, Usher, bro. Yeah, we don't feel sorry for you. Nigga know you was scrubbing that page, man. Yeah, nigga know you was scrubbing it. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Drop it in the comments, man. Usher's a sucker. Or like Orlando said, Usher's a gusher. <laughs> you know what I mean? No homo, no diddy. Pause. Stevie J recruited for diddy parties. Yeah, Stevie J was in charge of the goods. And allegedly, Leroy said he was hold, uh, running guns. Yeah, he was a gun runner. That's, look, it sounds about right. This right up Stevie J. Alley. He get to play gangster and he get to play pimp. Let's just be honest. Old rat face was probably really good at that. You know what I mean? Really good at that. But anyway, Leroy said he going to be releasing way more information if that debt isn't paid in full in a timely manner. Yeah, yeah. If it, if it ain't paid in full in a timely manner, he's going to release a whole list release a whole list of co-conspirators. It's not just Stevie J, people. It's not Stevie J, not just him. Allegedly, if you read the Kim Porter book, even Snoop Dogg had come on his back. Allegedly, you know? come on, dog father. You, now you got to talk. Just being honest, I'm just being real, man. As usual, drop it in the comments. Jaguar Wright throwing shots at Jay Z. Look, she say he start little fights and he expect everybody, he force everybody else to run around with a bucket and try to put it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try. Look, um, he was at the Diddy parties. On top of that, he calls him daddy. He frequent these parties often. He's been going there since the party started. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. And if you read the Kim Porter book, he sat at the table and told Diddy he wanted... Biggie spot. 
we know that because he steal all the damn lines. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. Notorious B.I.G. was about to leave Bad Boy. He was starting his own shit. Supposedly, he might have been starting something with Pac, man. I'm just being honest, bro. These two was going to be probably cool, bro. This is some Diddy shit. Allegedly, uh, Diddy wouldn't fuck him. You know what I mean? Y'all read the book, bro. We're going to get into it later. If y'all ain't read the book yet, I don't want to spoil it. But, man, this shit ain't cool, bro. Yeah, nothing Sean Carter got going on is cool. Yeah, yeah. Jay-Z, you got to get in front of this, man. You got to come. Instead of starting fires, you got to come put them hoes out yourself. On top of that, the way you did... Uh, Wayne for that Super Bowl, knowing you promised him something, but now you all dumbfounded and why would he think he getting it? Well, hoes, hoes. Nah, bro. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. Everybody know Wayne was supposed to do it, but they got something else going on in the city, so they ain't worried about it. Motherfucker might boycott that damn halftime show. Go get popcorn during the show. He ain't, K, K Dot ain't doing not like us anyway, you fools. Yeah, that's what they wanted to see. They thought they were going to be crip walking. They ain't going to do it, you fools. Unless he do a redacted version. I think that'll still probably be, it'll probably be all right. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, he ain't doing that one. Yeah, he ain't doing that one, bro. Denzel Washington confronted Diddy in 2003. Look, him and his wife, Pauletta, I believe, was partying to dawn with Diddy. You know, they say they heard an argument ensued. An argument ensued. Yeah, old Jake Shuttlesworth screamed, boy, you don't respect nobody. You know, yeah, 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 you don't respect nobody. He got on out of there. He bugged, you know what I mean? Look, the real reason is Denzel Washington wasn't with the bullshit, you know? I, maybe the way he was licking his lip back in the 90s and shit, did he want some of that? Yeah, yeah, the dealer probably wanted to touch that. I, I don't know. Probably They swing. He probably wanted to, like, trade out and do all type of other shit. I don't know what did he had going on. I just know Denzel Washington is more gangster than people give him credit for. Yeah, yeah, y'all don't know Denzel like that, so y'all just look at the actor. Man, Harry O paid for Denzel to go to school. A lot of people don't know that, bro. Do y'all homework on Denzel, man. He's more than what y'all think of him, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 bro. He wasn't with the Hollywood shit. Uh, I can only salute that man for that. At least we know about somebody arguing with Diddy in one of them parties. I'm just being honest, I'm just being real, bro. Drop it in the comments. Look, Faison loved throwing shots at Shannon Sharp. He say, oh, he's a muscle dude, but he looks zesty, like he works for the LGBT barbecue team. Uh, him and Cat Williams had a good old time, child. Just talking, girl. Look, he said the gay community runs the world. Um, on top of that, he says IG sex tape was staged. He clearly was like, oh, ma'am, I mean, Michelle, Look, I don't know what Faison Love talking about. I guess he just deflecting. Everybody know the diddler done played with Faison Love. He even admitted it, bro. He be in all the parties. Oh, we have orgies. This is what we do out here. We just all think we're high school kids in Hollywood. Faison Love, you a fat Faison Love, bro. Yeah, yeah, everybody don't think they... High school's kids in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 bro. You just in Hollywood and you think that nobody else is in Hollywood, but trust me, bro, we invading that. We got people everywhere, bro. It ain't all that shit going on in Hollywood. It's just you weird motherfuckers messing up the narrative, bro. It's like some good shit going on in Hollywood, bro. It's not just all these phase on people. It's these B-list actors, bro. D-list actors. These ain't all of them. Come on, man. They don't get everybody, trust me, they don't get everybody. Some people still have morals and principles in Hollywood, Atlanta, Houston. They, you can't find, you can find suckers everywhere, but they don't run the world. Yeah, they don't run the world. They just don't show you the real shit, bro. Do your homework. Do your homework, man. It ain't all that shit. That's why people go to Hollywood and they think, oh, I'm going to get down with the bullshit and I'm going to get in. I mean, you're going to go out there and be homeless and be on skid row. Yeah, bro, you go out there, you better be about your business, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, don't look at everything you see on TV and don't think that they own the world and do all this other type of shit. Hey, real people still run this motherfucker, man. Do your homework on that. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Look, Loose Cannon throwing shots at Bosco 100. Apparently, he walked into an event, seen Bosco, um, ended up taking him a drink of water. He was going to go get on his ass, but when he looked back up, Bosco was gone. 
yeah, he say Bosco was gone. Wack 100 say he seen Bosco at the event too, and Bosco was looking at the floor, wouldn't even look up. Uh, bro, I don't blame him, you know what I mean? I don't blame him. If he was outnumbered, he was outnumbered. It ain't like he was so scared of Loose Cannon. But Loose Cannon rode with about 50 people. They with the bullshit. Uh, in California, obviously, they don't rock with pistols like we do in Texas. Uh, they don't know nothing about no pocket knives and shit, obviously. So it's no reason to be scared. But all that old thinking you're going to run up on a nigga and just punch on a nigga and it's just going to be fine, I don't know where they do that at. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know where they do that at. For some reason, they're trying to say they do it in California. But come on, man. Niggas don't fight no more. All they do is shoot. You know what I mean? Let's just be honest. So I don't know what Loose Cannon be talking about, but the shit be hilarious. But you know, I don't think Bosco got nothing on them hands. I seen him in the celebrity boxing, even though he got some gloves on. Maybe he can't swing them thing like that. But him and Loose Cannon wouldn't even be a good fight. They would click on him. He knew that. He left before he was on World Star. Let's just be honest, bro. <laughs> Look, DJ Vlad throwing shots at Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright did a good little interview on Pierce Morgan, bro, where she was talking about the whole Diddy situation. Everybody know Jaguar Wright was right about Diddy. DJ Vlad backdoor. He do the next interview, Pierce Morgan interviewing him, where he say uh, she's known to be a conspiracy theorist, and I don't believe anything. I can't co-sign anything she says. She's never been on my show, and she never will. Uh... Look, Jaguar Wright don't have to be on your show, bro. She don't need it. Jaguar Wright is bigger than Vlad. I'm just going to be honest, bro. Drop it in the comments, man. What Vlad talking about? Yeah. Look, Vlad, that was highly disrespectful. You go on national TV with that bullshit when you was supposed to be answering questions about Diddy. You wanted to deflect. Why? Because you know, bro. They Look, a lot of people know that if they say the wrong shit about Diddy and he get out of jail, bro, it's over for a lot of platforms, especially if he get out with a little money. He might get out by the skin of his teeth. Look, if they see Diddy on the street again, they're going to be scared. So, yeah, he going to come at Jaguar. Nah, man, best thing. You, but he thanked Keefe D. Thank you, Keefe D, for your interview. Solved the Tupac murder. Like, man, look, Jaguar solving all type of shit. You should be thanking her. I don't call Vlad a culture vulture because... I don't believe it's that motherfucking culture still left. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the co other than the culture they gave you. But, yeah, I don't think he no culture vulture. I just think sometimes he's just an idiot. You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. Most people are most of the time, so I can't just kick him in the ass too much, give him no bunks. But, yeah, dude's a fucking idiot, bro. Yeah, dude's a fucking idiot. You leave Jaguar alone, bro, and you shut your ass up, and you respect Jaguar right, and open your ears and close your ass, nigga. Please, <laughs> asshole. Look, Diddy beat Steve Stout with a champagne bottle. <laughs> Look, um, it ain't even allegedly, bro. They say this shit really happened. In Noise You Can Hate Me 9 video, they had Diddy strapped up like he was Jesus on a cross. Diddy seen that shit, man. He said, take that shit out. That shit whack. You know what I mean? Take that shit out. Steve Stout refused. Refused, so it got him smacked over his shit with a champagne bottle repeatedly. Look, Diddy ain't no punk, man. Diddy been doing people bad for a long time. He slapped Drake. He, uh, what? He tried to make Kadada Jones piss, uh, drink his piss, which that wasn't tough. It's just stupid, crazy. Blew up, uh, Kid Cudi car, allegedly when he did that, he texted him, boom. You know what I mean? Dude like the Joker, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. So this one don't really surprise me too much. You know what I mean? But Steve Stouts is just a sucker. Then he didn't, what's name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dame Dad slapped the shit out of Steve Stout too. So that's just his M.O. Steve Stout been getting his ass whooped for years, bro. Obviously. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, man. Drop it in the comments. Quando Rondo preparing for prison. Yeah, look, he said he getting that jail mentality back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he know when he gonna work out. He know when he gonna write. He getting all that music and shit. Ready to go in there and spit and do that shit off his chest. Look, he going. He looking to do five summers, five winners. You know what I mean? He'll be out. Before you know it, you know what I mean? Five summers, five winners, bro. Uh, get it over with. He said it ain't no thing because he been used to doing prison time anyway. He got adjusted his 
what, 16 when he went to juvie? So, yeah, I, I met him when he got out of juvie. Yeah, when he was beating on his chest when I knew Kwando. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? I can't do a lot. They be doing it, but yeah, he say when he get out, he gonna be a beast, bro. This is just what he needed. And he went ahead and converted to Islam before he went, so he had somewhere to be, you know what I mean? He don't get down with the gangs no more. He dropped his flag. Y'all do y'all homework on that, man. He say Tukey was able to do it. Why can't he? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, look, shout out Kwando Rondo, bro. Uh, he should be in jail in the next couple months, you know what I mean? Like I said, he's doing five summers, five winters. That's nothing, bro. That's nothing when you really live in that life, and it could have been more. WAC 100 sends Yo Gotti a cryptic warning. Look, he said, bro, the Fed's coming. WAC 100 sends Yo Gotti a cryptic warning. He says, say your prayers and count your days. Look, the feds are closing in on Yo Gotti. The sus look, murder suspect in the Young Dolph trial just said he was paid by Big Juke. Supposed to be 100 but they split that all type of ways. He ended up getting $800. How much? $800, bro, to take a life. On top of that, they paid $50,000 for his lawyer fees, so he got $50,000 and $800. You know what I mean? Look, that it's some sucker shit. Well, WAC 100 and everybody that knows or didn't see this trial telling your guy to count his days. If they throw it, I'm a catcher to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be about business. 